Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're going to be doing a 3D print. and This is going to be the first full 3D print. We'll see how it does. Let's go ahead and get over to the tool. Uh, we're still using Repetier, but let's go ahead and load. And what are we going to be doing today, you ask? Well, I think we're going to be doing a companion cube. Ha! Let's go ahead and up the scale. That's too big. Okay. Okay. So, going to go ahead and let the printer warm up. And we'll get to some printing. Hopefully it works. But I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so we got her done. I took some of the support material off already. Uh, one side looks pretty darn good. Actually, two sides look pretty good. Um, the biggest problem is that some of the issues I was having was because I wasn't printing with a brim. So I put a brim on it, and the bottom edges all look pretty good now. Unfortunately, 
you can see right here let me see if I can find this is the worst edge the tops look good but the bottom uh, they warped so I think that's a, a barnacles question the other thing is um, when it was printing uh, the cube looks pretty square however uh, two of the sides are are pretty gooked up there so you know, this, see like that side looks pretty darn good uh, other than the bottoms there but like here's the the nasty side and then you get another pretty good side and then another bad side so gonna have to see what Jerry thinks about that and uh, the top is really funny too because it's like it's almost like it didn't finish printing um, so one thing I'm thinking uh, is that the my print plates either too high or too low uh, and dialing that in is not easy guys I, I will say that um, a frustrating hobby to be sure uh, until you learn the tricks of like dialing things in so from Timmy Tech TV with uh, with the companion cube um, We'll see you next time. I didn't know there were people in these things.